Graphing two functions on one graph with Chris and Aaron. Example one. To get into Hurley Whirly Water Park, you have to pay $10 for admission and $3 for every ride you ride. The amusement park across the street, Bob Mania, is charging $5 admission and making you pay $5 per ride. What is the function of both places? Basically now we're going to figure out the function. For every, for the amount that you have to pay to get in, that would be an added amount. And then for every single ride you ride, that would be a variable. So what you do is for $5 a ride, you're going to pair it with a variable, and then you're going to add $5 for admission. Same thing with the other one, except for it's going to be $3 a ride plus $10 admission. So we're going to graph each function and extend them to both, extend both of them until they intersect. Okay, the question is, how many rides would you have to ride at each park before the price is the same? The amount would be intersection at 2.5, which is 2.5 rides, and then 17.5. So it costs $17.50. Okay, moving on to example two. Dave and Buster's charges $5 to get in the door and 50 cents for every game you play. Main event charges $7 for you to get in the door and charges you 25 cents per game. What is the function of both places? Yet again, we're going to pair the amount of rides with the variable, the cost per ride, on both, and then you're going to add the admission cost, which is $5 for Dave and Buster's and 7 for main event. So now we're going to graph each function and extend them both until they intersect. Okay. Almost done with this. It'll just take a second more. How many games would it take to spend the same amount at both places? The intersection is at 8 games and $9 a piece. Moving on to our last and final example, the hardest of them all. There are two water towers in Capel. One of the tanks holds 500 gallons and the other holds 700. The 500 gallon tower is drained at a rate of 10 gallons a day. The 700 gallon tower is drained at a rate of 50 gallons a day. What is the function for the rate at which each tower drains? Well basically yet again we're going to pair the variable with how many it's getting drained of each variable day and then we're going to subtract that from the original and we're going to do that for both 500 and 700. Now we're going to graph each function and extend them both until they intersect. Okay, just another second before we're done with this. How many days does it take until they both intersect? Intersection, it takes five days and they'll both reach 450 gallons. This was Aaron and Chris, ending our tutorial.